And that's of course getting her in this bag and saying my goodbyes. Goodbye girl. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today, my girl Lemonade here is gonna go out to the West Coast. But I am a little bit sad about it, but the good news is, is I'll see her in less than a week when I rendezvous back with her and do a bunch of really cool videos. So regardless, if you've ever wondered how do you ship a snake that's close to 100 pounds, well, you're about to find out. And the first thing we have to do is head to Home Depot. So when you're shipping an animal of this size, you can't ship it FedEx, which means I have to ship it by the airport. Now the airport requires you to do it in a wooden box. Hence the reason I'm at Home Depot, to pick up wood so I can get this animal shipped. All right, thanks again, Bob, I appreciate right, it. Thank you very much. All right, much. you have a good one, take care, bye. bye. All right, so Bob was super great to me. He uh, cut this wood up for me, fantastic. So uh, now it's off the shop, assemble it, and uh, start getting out to the airport. Back before FedEx would allow you to ship door to door, which is so convenient now because they literally come to my shop, they pick up the boxes and it comes right to your door. But before that, which has only been about the last eight or 10 years right in that range, we used to ship everything through the airport and we'd have to make boxes like this all the time. So this is certainly not my first rodeo. Uh, I don't like making boxes because I'm just like, can I just FedEx it? But when you're talking about a hundred plus pound snake, uh, you can't FedEx something like that. So uh, no choice, but to get to the airport. Uh, I hope the airport doesn't give me a problem because every now and then when you show up with a huge python and you need to ship it, uh, they usually give you a little bit of hassle. But hey, I hope we have done all our homework here and that everything will go well. Okay guys, so we've got all the wood cut. We're all set to go. So now it's just a matter of assembling this box and I'll kind of take you on the steps of what we're thinking when we're trying to assemble it. Cause number one, it's gotta be uh, strong enough to keep the animal in because the airlines don't want a big snake loose. And of course we have to have it to where it's safe for the animal. So um, gotta make some measurements and some cuts because I'll show you. Okay, so I'm sure you guys aren't watching the vlog for a wood shop tutorial, but I do have to show you all the procedures how you ship a huge snake. So I hope I'm not boring you guys too much, but uh, this is all part of it. And I've always said, if you wanna be successful in anything you do, you have to wear a lot of hats. And in this case, I've gotta wear the building a box hat. I'm not really sure. So anyways, I've gotta put these ribs basically on these boards here, which will make the outline for the box and then I can start assembling it. But for now, gotta attach these to those. Okay, so now it is time to assemble the sides of the box. I know you guys are riveted by this, but uh, but hey, it's all in a part of what you have to do in the course of a day to make things happen. And I want this girl to arrive safely. Okay, so that is the outline of the box right there. Uh, should be big enough to hold her. So now what we have to do is we line it with styrofoam so that we can kind of insulate it so if it gets too hot or too cold or whatever, in this case probably too hot, uh, it kind of keeps the heat out. We will put some air holes in here as well so she can breathe, But uh, and then we have to just get her loaded up and uh, get to the airport. But uh, for now, styrofoam in here. Okay, so now all we have to do is drill some air holes, uh, get lemonade ready, say our goodbyes, make sure she fits in, put some extra cushion in there, and uh, pack up and head off to the airport. Yeah, 
Today is always a pretty big feed day here at BHB Reptile. So while I'm trying to finish up this box and get to the airport, the girls downstairs are gonna be feeding a bunch of snakes. All right guys, so the moment of truth. I have to say my goodbyes only for a short time to my girl Lemonade. Ah, it kind of is, it's bumming me out. I was just really starting to get really attached to her, but uh, I'll see her next week and she's gonna change so many people's minds. So uh, I've got a big old case because I don't wanna just put her in that box. I wanna put her in like a huge pillowcase. In this case, it's like a, a cover for a mattress uh, so that she can feel a little bit more secure and be a little bit more safe. So we'll put her in there. We'll pack some paper around her to kind of keep her stable. We'll close it up and we'll head to the airport. So the moment that I haven't been looking forward to and that's of course getting her in this bag and saying my goodbyes. Goodbye, girl. Don't worry, Brian, I'll see her next Tuesday, right? So, okay, in the bag. Okay, oh, here you go, sweetheart. I know it's gonna be a long day for you. Long travel day. There you go, sweetheart. There you go. In the bag. Okay, tie it up, carry it upstairs, and get it in the box and uh, get her situated. I kind of feel like Santa Claus <laughs> carrying lemonade on my back. Oh, she's gonna be so happy where she's going though. She's gonna be highlighted constantly and kids are gonna love her, so this is the best thing for her. And she'll be there whenever I need her. Okay, so as you can see, she has a lot of space in here. So we'll just pack some paper in here to kind of make sure she doesn't get jostled around too much. But that's plenty of space, so she's not too cramped. Lots of air holes to let her breathe as well as let any hot air go out. And uh, I think this is gonna work out fine. Just gotta put the lid on and then uh, load it up into the car. Okay, so I'm off to the airport. It's about an hour, hour and 15 minute drive to the airport. And I always get pretty nervous when I'm shipping snakes because for whatever reason, and I mean, I guess I get it, but the people at the airlines always seem to want to give me hassles. Uh, they always are looking for a reason not to ship the shipment. Like, oh, you were supposed to do this or oh, it needs to be here this time or what, you know. So uh, there's always a little bit of nervousness and this snake needs to be out in LA next week because I have a ton of stuff lined up where this snake is going to kind of be the star. So, so uh, Lemonade needs to be there to meet me there. So wish me luck guys, but uh, man, I tell you, I can't wait till I'm leaving the airport with a smile on my face going, all right, that went really smooth and she's on her way. And then I'll even be more happy when I hear from my buddy Jason later on tonight, letting me know that she got there okay. Okay, so I'm at the airport and uh, hopefully this goes well. Again, sometimes they give you a little bit of a hassle, but uh, let's hope everyone's in a good mood today and uh, this goes smoothly. Hey, it's good meeting you, man. Thanks for your help, man. All right, you have a good one. Bye. All right, thanks for your help. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right, so uh, the people at Delta were really amazing. It did take about an hour to get everything done, but it was really good, went smooth. So uh, Lemonade is on her way out to the West Coast to be a Hollywood legend or something like that. Regardless, I've got to get back to the shop and get some work done. So what do you say we get going right now? 
And I'm back here at the shop and I'm gonna wrap things up really quick. I tell you what, honestly, that whole process of making the box, packing the snake, driving to the airport, dropping off, and getting back here took eight hours. But in case you wanted to know how you ship a huge snake, now you know. I'm gonna head home and hook up with the family because Noah is filming that vlog I was telling you guys about that is a fun game that's gonna be Lori, myself, and him. So uh, we'll go there, I'll give you a little bit of a sneak, and then you can check his video out tomorrow, which should be pretty fun. I don't know how it's going to turn out. So anyways, let's get out of here. Go hook up with the fam. Okay, so I am home and we're about to film Noah's video. And so let me just give you the quick rundown because I'm going to put a link in the description to the entire video. I'm just going to show you a few blurbs here and there in this vlog. But uh, essentially we have all of these things here that we can use to build. Now we have a handful of things that we have to build with and we're gonna put them in this hat right here. Myself, Lori, and Noah are gonna randomly pick and we have 10 minutes to build whatever is on that with these materials. Now after 10 minutes, the winner, and how do we determine the winner? Just whatever one looks the best. So whatever one looks the best wins. The one that looks the worst has to eat ghost pepper chips. So I don't know, this should be pretty funny. Again, link in the description for the whole thing, and I'll kind of share a couple little crazy moments here. So uh, I'm pretty scared. All right, so Noah got the draw, so he is up first, and he just drew a tower. So he has 10 minutes to build a tower starting right now. All right, guys, so Noah is done with his 10 minute challenge, and he was supposed to build a tower. This is his tower right here. I'm not really sure what these balls are right here. Uh, good job, Noah. So, uh, and in his video, you're gonna get a chance to vote who you think has the best, mine, Lori, or Noah's. And uh, I'm up next. All right, guys, so we just finished the challenge. Noah had to make a tower, I made a car, and Lori made a house. And uh, I think that there is no doubt that I'm the winner in this of challenge. Of course you do. You're going to pick yourself and you're a liar. <laughs> you guys, judge for yourself. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can see the whole build and let me know what you think uh, who won this challenge. As for now, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. You guys mean so much to me. Can you do me a favor? Can you smash that like button and hit that notification bell for me? Make sure to be kind to somebody because Lori's not being kind to me whatsoever. That is so not true. <laughs> and don't forget to keep grinding because when you grind, you Pluto. start to shine. <laughs> Pluto. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.